And now to kick off our final day of the Reykjavik Global Forum. As we know, each woman's path to leadership is different. At the Forum, women political leaders and the government and parliament of Iceland have created a community of leaders where personal stories and experiences can be shared. From this, we have learned that personal power can come from the most unexpected of places. In this next Power Off segment, we will hear from Anino Emuva on how to transform the feelings of loneliness and isolation that many leaders feel at the top into a powerful and positive force for, the, for owning one's possession of power. Hello everybody and welcome to this session. I'd like to talk to you about the power of loneliness. My name is Anino Emua. I'm an international management consultant. It is said that for leaders, it is lonely at the top and even more so for female leaders. Globally, only 5% of top corporate CEOs are women, whilst only 2% of head of state are female. Yet diversity in leadership is shown to improve performance for organizations, for society and economies. As part of my work as an international management consultant, I'm also an executive strategist for women in leadership. Very often women are the first in that position and there is no blueprint of how to do it well, how to do it their way, so female leaders have to learn themselves and deal with being the first, the only, and this feeling of onlyness. How do you deal with onlyness? I'll give you an example. Four years ago, I was fortunate enough to receive an invitation to attend the World Economic Forum. I arrived there, I looked around, and there were very few women, and even fewer like me. That feeling of onlyness washed all over me. Where is my place, I thought. I knew I had something to contribute, but there were women there, they were lost in the numbers. The second time around, I decided to turn it around. If I'm feeling only, I thought, surely these women must be as well. I decided to create a network for women going to Davos. We started out with 25, and by last year, this year actually, we ended up with 100 across the world from all fields, from business, from academia, civil society, the arts, media. There were meet up, meetups in Zurich before the event. We shared tips for networking, for accommodation, events to attend, what to wear even. For many women, it was their first time and probably it would be their only time to attend the World Economic Forum. We had our tribe and this feeling of community and this onlyness and loneliness transformed into a feeling of community. We launched even the first inclusive international women's business leadership in Davos this year. It's now 11 months since then, and the collaboration and community still continue, albeit digitally. Business opportunities, boards, advisory positions, speaking engagements, leveraging each other's contacts, exchanging ideas, solving problems, and yes, even friendships were created. It is lonely as a woman in leadership because very often you're the only one and you're the first in that position. But seek out the 5%, join a community of peers, create one if need be. Not only does this reduce loneliness, you can get help with problem solving, develop business collaborations and strategic alliances, share information, find opportunities, importantly, get support and lots of laughter as well. As a leader, you are successful. With a community of peers, you create real impact. And by the way, I heard later that some men wanted to join our, join our group because we had the best tips. Ladies, you have the power to transform loneliness into community.